Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Today, I'm standing in front of 534 Fletcher Lane in the town of Beach Grove. Now, Beach Grove, if you're not familiar with it, is a small town with a small town vibe. It just happens to look out on the city of Indianapolis rather than a bunch of cornfields. Hey, let's go take a look and see what we've got. This home has received a total makeover. It really has been polished up from uh, top to bottom. Got a nice covered front porch, great for uh, sitting out and enjoying the evening. Like I said, it's a total makeover. Enter into the living room. You've got uh, new laminate flooring, new paint throughout, new light fixtures, ceiling fans, and you gotta love the barn door. To the left, we have good sized bedroom, decent closet, again, new laminate flooring, ceiling fans, paint, hall closet here for uh, coats, and then another one for your linens. The second bedroom, vinyl replacement windows, new uh, blinds, plantation blinds. Uh, we've got a bath here, been largely, uh, pretty much totally redone. Tub and shower, new plumbing. Um, this has new PEX plumbing throughout and the electric's been upgraded. We'll look at that in just a second, but uh, first we're gonna go into the kitchen here. Plenty of room there for like a four top. You've got brand new kitchen cabinets, brand new countertops, sink, stainless steel range and hood fan. You've got some under counter lighting. The other light fixtures are new. You get a tile backsplash. Oh, got a large room here. You can use this for your master bedroom, or you can make it into a family room. You have doors going out to the back porch as well as to the uh, side entry here. Closet. Got a laundry room here. Furnace, new water heater. New washer and dryer hookups, a little bit of storage space or workspace. Okay, step out back and see what we have. We've got a big covered patio and a fenced in backyard that's uh, oh, just big enough to. Uh, for the kids to play and the dog to run, but uh, not so big that you gotta spend all weekend taking care of it. You've got a storage uh, shed here. If you're interested, give me a quick call or text and we can set up a showing. And by the way, the ticket on this uh, totally made over Beach Grove bungalow with three bedrooms is $199. You make it a great day now. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Hey, the numbers are in for July, and I can tell you we're seeing a late summer surge. And you know what? I didn't have to look at the Board of Realtor numbers to know that. All I had to do was look at my own business. This past month, I spent 10 days in the Canadian wilderness. We were six hours from the nearest town. We had no cell phone service, no Netflix, if you can imagine, and no Wi-Fi. In fact, we had no running water, no furnace, no central air, and the only electricity we had came from a generator. But hey, I had a lot going on business-wise, so I did something I've never done before. I went and rented a Starlink satellite. And you know what? I was able to sell a house, a duplex, and a 66-acre piece of prime development ground. So when I got home, I had a busy month this past month closing transactions. And the surge did not let up. But hey, enough about me. Let's dive into those numbers. For the 16-county central Indiana area, Prices are up 2% from a year ago. 
and closings and new listings were both up. Homes are selling in 13 days on average versus like 11 days a year ago, and they're selling at just 1% less than list price on average. Inventory remains tighter than we'd like to see, but get this, it's 24% better than a year ago. Now that's a huge win. In Hamilton County, the median price is down 2%, but closings and new listings, they showed great improvement. They pushed inventory up a whopping 28%, and homes are selling now in 11 days versus seven days a year ago. And they're going off at just about 1% below asking price. So what's working in the real world? Here's what I've seen. For sellers, I found that being a little bit flexible and putting a deal together and a whole lot patient has resulted in deals going down. We were able to put that two and a half million dollar land deal together with a whole lot of creativity, but it sold for cash and get this, it went down in an amazingly short period of just 34 days. And on that duplex, we won the inspection battle. And with that house, we were both patient and creative and did a workaround on the FHA anti-flipping rule. Okay, on the buy side, the difference between winners and losers this past month, drum roll, the winners came ready to play. They had their minds right. So when they did find the house that they were looking for, they didn't hold back. They didn't get all squeamish. They didn't have to think about it. They knew they'd found the house and they wanted it. So we went to work. We wrote up offers that were the most attractive to the seller, but that didn't give our side away. And then we just rolled up our shirt sleeves and went to work to bring that deal home. Now, if you'd like that kind of service, just give me a quick call or text and make it a great day now. If you're considering relocating to the greater Indianapolis area or moving anywhere within central Indiana, be sure to tune in every week to learn all there is to know about real estate and living in Indiana. Whether you're buying or selling, please keep in mind, I work harder to make good things happen. Hey, make it a great day now. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to watch this next clip right now.